We should be doing work, but instead we're playing video games. Hey there everybody, this is Brian from GXP Gaming and welcome to Alien Isolation. Today I've got Holly playing the game because she's played this before, she's pretty confident about herself and that's why she's going to be playing it on hard, if not nightmare difficulty. Nightmare. Say hello Holly. Hello. Ah Jesus. It's got future tech from the 80s style. It's messed up, it's awful, it's weird, but it's going to be good times. Oh, I'm ready to go. Ryan's also here. Say hi, Ryan. Hello. I'm going to cry. Yay. And we are going to laugh. You know, fiddle with that stuff a little bit. Just all the way dark. Also, no, no. also the audience needs to be lucky, so yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Guess as, as the audience are lucky, I'd much rather have the, her play this darker. Because I'm a terrible person. Also, we have all the lights off, so this is going to be extra spoopy. That's why we don't have the face cam running. It's mostly so you don't see me ugly cry. I'm going to make sure that the audio is working. Should there be audio playing right now? I don't remember if there was audio. But I'm going to need audio, because I need to be able to know where the alien is. Nah, you know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Oh, I know why. I hit the mute button earlier. <laughs> that might be it. I'm a Scooby Doo. I had to get up and I didn't want to. Son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, it's because you had Minecraft open. Jesus. Okay. Vampire. Yeah, you keep the loudness. It adds to it. Oh, because it comes on the microphone. Ah, yeah. Right on. Ash. And Captain Dallas. Are dead. I don't think that picked up. Uh, window only, not the whole. Hey. And ship Nobody knows what I was watching now. The I park. should reach the like frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. Oh, there's a this is Ripley. I wasn't paying attention. Was Last oh, was network pick up. <laughs> oh, I am Ripley, and so, um. Okay, for Be context, you're not... A bunch not... of people are dead, and I'm waiting for pickup from... whatever... for four. Honey? I know that's usually ironic, because normally everybody works for them, but they're... really well. Ripley? Ow. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. Oh, the it's a proper response. Your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. I work for the company. Well, you're not saying what company, so fuck you. A commercial vessel. Disney? The <laughs> has recovered what oh, we believe corporation, to be the wants to own everything. The yeah. Where? Ah, he's just getting right. Is Please don't sue. <laughs> what did it tell you? We don't know. The that uncanny valley face. The Sevastopol station. That uncanny yes. valley face. Proprietorial material, so the company. The guy has an excuse. I know he's a robot. They all look like that. Yeah. It's a permanent. Like it's a foregone conclusion. A guy that looks like that is definitely a robot. He's in this. Transits arranged. Yeah. There's a courier ship called the Torrens. For some reason, the guy who designed it was a weird. Narcissist and decided they must all look like me. Me and another exec. Yeah, that's Waylon for you. If you're willing. It was uh, I want to say not quite as dumb crazy as Wesker. When this job came across my desk, I read the case history. Instead of let's just make viruses. Me. It's can I control these? How can I control these? In the region where she went missing. Trying to compare horror franchises, yeah. You know, Wayland is actually smarter and less crazy than Wesker. Yeah. Especially not even counting our RE5, where you actually get to kill him. Yeah. Proper. Not like gravity or fire just like this. I will say, though, I do like how... I remember when this game came out, people were complaining, like, oh, we're not playing as Ripley. Like, yeah, you are. But she doesn't exist. Yes, she does. Yeah, she did. Didn't we hear about her dying? Yeah, was it three? Uh, three was the worst one anyway, so it doesn't matter. Only ever saw it once, just to say that I had. Let's put it this way: the maker of it has apologized for making it. 
Yeah, but it was a lot of studio interference. Yeah, a lot. But at the same time, he has apologized. He has basically tried to erase that from his uh, right, underwear, right? Sign in. How about I get some clothes on? It's fucking cold in here! One thing I will say is I do love how good it looks. Oh yeah, it looks very pretty. It's all, it's all covered in blood. Yes. Rain should. No, subtitles were not on. <laughs> they were? Oh. No. Did well, you not notice that that whole video? Nope, wasn't paying attention to that. Now we're talking about other horror movies. Yeah, we're, we're comparing franchises, you know. Doing smart and worthwhile things. Talk about things, but other things. Things. But yeah, I do love how they managed to make everything look. Power time. <laughs> Rip these wet. I don't think I'm wearing that. Yes, bar. They're wearing like undergarments. Like, like, uh, you know, typical military shoot. What I have them. Gonna go shower again. Bar silly. Very good. Registration point. Annually saved. Blah 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 blah. Saving. Terminal. Yay! Look at that. I'm pretty sure. Oh, cool. We got an achievement. Woohoo! I'm pretty sure we can play uh, Red Menace from Fallout 4 on these computers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know someone's modded Dan Oh, you know that. Yeah. People have made it so you couldn't play games on. Clearly, they had. <laughs> Mind Super Bowl was Xenomorphs. Oh god! The like, shower's still on! <laughs> well, yeah, because he didn't turn, turn it, it off. off! Oh, here's. Damn, we mean, like, to go turn off the shower, you're wasting water on a space station. A space station? I'm on a spaceship right now. Spaceship, uh. Not quite docked yet. That's the Tarn. I do remember this game. I do. I never played it myself. I watched somebody else play it on, uh. And it came out, and I watched him scream like a little, like a little bitch. But still, it'd be fair. It's appropriate. Yeah. Oh my! But I keep wanting to default the one fictional series I was reading a while back. On it. Oh, he was screaming like a Gorblox. Like, no, can't call out a Gorblox. Nobody's gonna fucking get that. Taylor. I certainly know. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. You're gonna die. Sorry. Especially when you like, say you feel like, sorry, death. Feel like death. I don't know well, especially in the Aliens universe. You get used feel to like it. I'm going to die soon. Do Wake up today? Yeah. Yeah. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Waylon Yutani. I do like the fact that the computers look like EKG machines. The loss of the Nostromo yeah. and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a company's uh, accident Nostromo. report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. Oh, you cannot sit down. You've got, you got stuff to do. Realize your mother has been missing. I don't fall out for I would use Skyrim, but that's a completely different universe entirely. I'm not saying Fallout and like Alien are the same universe, but at least they have techie stuff instead of just it's a wooden chair. Which I can guarantee you in the earliest versions of the game you look at the wooden chair. How do I use you? <laughs> like in uh, Arena or Black Marsh. Well, Games I would love to play for the channel. Well, that would look off and it's fair warning. Yeah. Well, hey, if there's enough interest. Yeah. Let me know in the comments below, everybody. Would you like me to play one of the older the Elder Scrolls games? I know I have Morrowind. I can find the other two. Oh, but there is Taylor up there. She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been. I can play them. Oh, I can play Wild Arms One because I got the PS Mini. I am not ashamed to say I bought that for like 20 And getting it at 20 bucks isn't terrible either. Oh, I'm sorry. 30 bucks. That's still not terrible considering how much you'll pay for some of the older games just is. Yeah, I bought it for basically three games that were on it. So I basically made 10 bucks a game. That's like, you know, like on shop level. That's fine. Wild Arms 1 being one of them. Because I always wanted to play the first one. I played a lot of Wild Arms 3. I never finished it because I'd walk away, lose track of it, yada yada yada. But it is a genuinely fun game. Much like this, because I mean, I played a oh, bit I of it. I will say this though, Wild Arms 3, 
uh, everybody had an arm, so like a gun, and you could actually reload it without having to worry about like going out and buying ammo for it and stuff like that that costs you an arm and a leg. So. Uh. Put on your space suit. Oh, not yet. I do love how it kind of looks like samurai armor, though. Yeah. Pretty sure the first time Laird ever seen it. Like, also, do love how this game had the atmosphere perfectly. I've never seen Samuel with such. He's probably been up for hours. What? All the time? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Talk to her. Looks like we're approaching the place that's gonna fall into the sun. Alright. Just excuse me while I stare at you creepily. Well, I would be to talk to me. Give me a wonderful nod. Turn all the NPCs into aliens. <laughs> so you're never sure which one's a friendly NPC and which one's not. Oh, uh, that'd be wonderfully terrifying. Well, it's like this... you turn around, you open the door, there's an alien in there. Welcome to the bridge. Is this not the bridge? That's the bridge, yes. I gotta talk to her. Use your word things on the captainy person. Oh, sir. At thirty. The times is in very good order for an old Empire's captain. Look, it's a bad joke. Saying, like, oh, I hope you had a, you know, a restful trip. Yeah, we were all in hypersleep. She pays for herself now. I blinked and it was over. We're approaching the Vestibule Station. A wee dock there. I believe your contact is my shit's down in Christy. I'll put them all. Sebastopol and arrange boarding with him. Frickin' ready. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine in and out. I did not enjoy those movies. Kind of routine, in and out. Oh. What do you want? Prepcom, so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their brief? Brian, breaking the cardinal rule. You gotta talk to your housekeeper. Hello. That's outside. <laughs> I thought that was the game for a second. I was gonna say, like, I don't remember that. Yeah. No, I don't. That's I don't remember the game beeping. And, uh, who was the one who opened the patio door? Ryan. Yeah, but you don't expect to hear a truck backing it? up at this hour. Such I always monitors. expect to hear something outside at this hour. Sevastopol Station. Downtown, you always hear something. It's not a siren, it's a car backing up, it's somebody yelling, you know. Downtown. Punch up 74, tight angle. Hey. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel. Didn't bring the horns in at all. Turn around, run away. Far, far. You're holding the damage. Was screwed up. Why don't you hail them? See if there's anybody there. If not, run away. If not, call the company. Hello, Marshal. Marshal, this is the Torrin. Say again. Or that should be your first inclination to turn around. Red flag, red flag. Turn around and go get freaking hell. Is it just weird? Does that look a little bit like that Castlevania castle? The station's calm seem pretty A tiny bit, yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah right, right. Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Why do you even need a suit? You're a robot. Yeah. Stand by. My contact Her parents is the suit. Space walks. See, it's the only option. Yeah, it's perfectly oh. safe if you do what I tell you. No better than David. They need much better space armor, space marine armor. They need at least Starcraft level, if not 40k. They don't have anywhere near picking up all this for 40k. Depressurizing. This. Just shadow me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Our Samuels, as far as I can remember, has always been better than Asher. Yeah, because he's not, you know, malicious. Oh, the homicidal, but yeah, that works too. You're doing good. Aki went to sacrifice himself. Oh, of course, an explosion. Okay, space drama. Go, stupid, go! Do the pulses of the flooring it. Oh, you're all dead. Samuel! Taylor! Respond! Anybody! Now, the thing 
thing that I would love to know, how did they not see that in the first place? <laughs> Aside from that, is the one I always see in movies that feature space seals, you know, someone hit something, they kind of bounce off of it and they're fine. Not even so much the fun, but would you really bounce off? Because, I mean, you're losing all your momentum. I don't have a way. I, I know, but it's just one of those things I've always kind of wondered, like, do we get it right? Yeah, or... I would say to send that into the part equivalent of the Mythbusters, because I know that they're not around anymore. I'm doing dirty shit. By dirty shit, I mean like quick and dirty build. Yeah. I, I no, just... he actually is doing something uh, with myth, er, uh, under the Mythbusters wagon again. Okay. Not what Jamie is. No. It looks so much no, Jamie's been, as far as I've heard, silent for the past few years. Never really was a very vocal person, though. He was probably off doing something from the crazy stories that Adam may not have ever up about his previous job experience. But, um, I guess that would be a thing you could theoretically ask NASA. I mean, that I'm sort of information. And then we get a freaking message and comment on YouTube from a NASA engineer. That would be amazing. That would be. Well, it might be something you actually just might, like, legitimately believe to tweet uh, Chris Hadfield. Maybe. Whether or not you get a response or not is a different story, but that waiting time would suck so. I think that by doing it intentionally, they give you the a bit of a chance to kind of calm down a bit. No, because you can die while you're saving. Oh. Yeah. That's why it's horrifying. At this point, I would put the suit back on, hop my ass out back to the place and go, Place is on fire, we're leaving. Oh, everyone else, what did I just say? <laughs> Basement's haunted. What? Basement, Basement haunted. is haunted. Basement's haunted. Ah, uh, safety vents. Ah, oh, work lights. Vent doesn't feel very safe. They're totally safe in the vent. Safety van, and it's coming at you. Safety I mean, van. I know I am safe in the van. For now. But I mean, no, I. I should have can. Never came in when I went. Off enough. Yeah, Holly, this is alien. You're not it's safe anywhere. anywhere. Terminal, 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 terminal. Terminal. Button to press. Information to glean. Holds are corrupted. Share decommissioning. They're corrupted. What was the decommissioning? Oh, uh, wouldn't let me click on it. That was bullshit. You could not have landed like that. I'm pretty sure that'd be a few broken fingers trying to catch that pipe. Oh yeah, definitely. Not a mild lacerate. Hurt. Yeah. God damn. Look when you had the chance, lady. Pop the flare. Oh, the one that's marked me. That's an X stack. You always know. No, you always know. What? Someone you always know knew working? Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of graffiti here and it makes little to no sense. Well, how often does it make sense? More often than that. Oh god, that uh, planning on that warning lamp. Second. Alright. Oh man. The crap. 
Oh, there's another thing you can do. Oh. Yeah, I get the one I think. Oh. I guess one thing that never made sense, like, you're on a space station. Why do you need blasting? I mean, yes, probably. I'll reiterate that. You're on a space station that had the misguided idea of, hey, let's put an alien on it. Oh, they didn't. In well, no, Wayland Utani did, but. but Wayland Utani also didn't. controlled all their requisitions as well, so. Yeah, it's on them. Wishing it wasn't. Oh, you Let's always go. know a working Joe. Robots. That makes more sense. Not terrible. They are terrifying. They scare me more than the alien does. You have not gotten through enough. Oh, you don't like a friendly little hand helping hand? Wants to beat you to death? Will only beat you to death if you're not being nice. Three. Turning it off and on again with the play button. You want some of the radio or not? More importantly, why is there a radio playing when you're probably not going to get any validation? Hey, this is alien radio. <laughs> <laughs> now I think it'd just be more screen. Alien movies have them like try and mimic voice. That's possible. It's been a while since I've. Don't remember seeing any, but I'm pretty sure I got exposed to them as a small child, so. Hey, better than what I got exposed to when I was okay, younger. Man. Nothing like my older cousin showing me child's play. <laughs> yeah, that gave me nightmares. Uh, my mom's best friend's daughter babysat me a lot when I was a kid. I love how Ripley just sort of knows how to use everything in here. Yeah, she's an engineer. Yes, but you can't, like, take an engineer who work in, you know, a power plant, Understood. throw them in a space shuttle, and automatically expect that they know what they mean, know what it is, or... Zero, three, four, zero. I'm this time. Someone else's phone went off. Uh, let's see. I can... Definitely not segueing into anything important. <laughs> Power is restored. Right. Terrifying is because that door opened on the right hand side and you saw an alien just dart across you're like, oh. Yeah. How about How about yes? And a duck. Live wire, Holly, jeez. <laughs> no no no. <laughs> Are kind of stupid, aren't you? Oh, honey. Yup! Five wires. At least this game actually bothers to include punishment for that. Yeah, like if you walk past a live wire, you are going to get hurt by it because a lot of other games not. Not entirely. Limit Fallout has a bad habit of that. Not just follow, but I remember uh, even in. Earlier Grand Theft Auto games. Get on top of a helicopter while it's going, you'd be perfectly fine. I remember the early, early uh, Grand Theft Auto games. Buddy in a red shirt, you can easily talk because he was going to try and mug you. Like, give, 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 give me your wallet! Before he runs away. 
<laughs> Although, I'm not ashamed to admit, when I first played uh, G Grand Theft Auto 4 and 5, I did try standing on top of a moving helicopter just to see what would, if it would actually... No. Not kill you? <laughs> it does. Good. Yeah, okay, they added that in now. Can't take helicopter tours around the city, but hey. Oh, hey, look. Door. Ah. Have a flat. Can't create enough? No. It's not the same. Let's not work. Just break the window. Face of aliens break glass. Huh. It's just like on the big window. <laughs> oh my god, it's so scary. It's a piece of the space station. Oh shit. Bye, yeah, that's, that's our ship. I love how she's shouting as if, you know, the torrents would be able to hear her. And why she seems so surprised that no one hurt her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the windows are closed. It's always nice to have rolling shutters on a space station. We can possibly go. <laughs> All those details are like. <clears throat> Some people though question, like, well, why does it have, you know, rolling shutters? What are you gonna do if a window breaks? Help. That's like what you've seen before currently is not foreboding. Winnet help. <laughs> hey, who the fuck is Winnet? It's junk. junk. It's junk. junk. Button. <clears throat> Generator. Searching for channels. The shitty arcade cabinet. If it doesn't have any channels. I fence. Yeah, I love how they put in like that scare tactic, but like there is basically nowhere any. Well, at least fast enough to get into the program without you saying. continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles. Oh. I don't like this. Somebody please help me. There was panic and now waste in what There's nobody to help you here. <laughs> Feels like we're on our own now. Come in next week. Um, yeah. Our ships are built. Marines. Okay, the colonial marines are involved. We're all fucked. Why is that? Because they are about as useful as tits in a bowl. Pretty to look at, but anytime you actually need them for or anything, yeah. Uh, well, they're surprisingly not there. Or, you know, dead. Just, you know, it's all over, man. Game over, man. Game over. Which also, as it turns out, was not a scripted line. Are we surprised by that? No. There's a lot of some of the best things are actually been ad libbed in. Oh, like Dustin Hoffman screaming, "I'm walking here!" Yeah. Well, I was like, "Yeah, that that wasn't scripted in. Neither was the taxi." <laughs> no. <laughs> or my, some of my favorites are Pirates of the Caribbean has a few that are ad libbed. I've got a jar of dead. I've got a jar of dead. Guess what's inside? Yeah, yeah that one. Strangers that one specifically. will be shot. It's one of those things where I love it because the look of confusion on everyone's face is so genuine, and then you find out that little tip, it's like, I oh, understand. It was genuine. I mean, Depp's a prick. <laughs> but again, like, he, like, the one he has at the end of the first one where he says, you know, bring me that horizon. Yeah. It was supposed to be a silent shot, but just, it added so well, it added a bit to it. I'm not dying, man. That's what movie is a bit of a different story, but. Oh, yeah. Weren't terrible. I need an ion torch, Holly. Torch it. To watch Torchwick. Our 
Doctor Who spinoff, apparently. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, Torchwick was the dude back from Ruby. I almost had it. <laughs> Close. Like, that's a very similar name. At least give me that. Yeah. Oh, by the by, though, we're going to have to pick this up next time, everybody! Yay! Yay! Awesome. Oh, you're lost in the start of the game, and this is not a good sign. To be fair, I got lost. Tune in next time, everybody, when we find out what the fuck we're doing and start back up again. Goodbye!